Dear Diary, today I'd like to talk about our relationship with change. Hello, this is Susan Taylor Shire of Soul Mastery, and this is Treasure Chest Tuesday, our weekly input, influx, injection of wisdom, support, love, and accentuating the treasure chest of you and how to be more of that treasure chest. So one of my recent diary inputs, which I think we can all relate to, is waking up one morning with this part of me going, oh, I don't like my life. I don't like my existence. I'm sad. All I want to do is lay in bed and go nowhere. Can I pull over the covers over my head and just lay here and have a nothing kind of day? And it was just so oh, sad. It was a big sigh. It was a really big sigh. So I listened for a minute to her. And she was like, this existence, it's boring. It's dumb. It's everything. Can you relate? <laughs> and so I said, well, what is it you need? What is it you want? How would you like things to be? And she said, well, I'd like a little more joy and a little more aliveness, and I'd like to feel really good about my life. I said, oh, okay, let's do that. Let's get on with having that for you. And before I could go a whole lot for further in being able to bring that to her, which I'll describe to you, she went, oh no, oh no, I'm scared. Oh no, I'm scared. I don't like the way it is. But you know what? I'm more scared of what it isn't. <laughs> I am more scared of the unknown. I am deeply afraid of what might happen. And I said, oh, tell me about this unknown that you don't want to step into. And she said, oh, well, the unknown is a burden. You know, if I have more joy and aliveness, yikes, that could be more responsibility. That could mean I have more to take care of. That could mean all sorts of things that I'm not used to. I've never been to that place before. So how do I know it's going to be good for me? How do I know it's not going to hurt me? Anyone relate to that? Where there's that feeling of putting on the brakes because we're scared and yet another part of, part of the us wants to just push forward into the ultimate bliss, into ecstasy and joy. So we have this battle going on. <laughs> and so guess what happens? A freeze as it relates to change. We want it so badly. We've put our intentions on whether it's more love, money, a better job, uh, a greater purpose, all of that. And we're just like, yes, that's what I want. And there's this part or these parts inside that are going, it's too scary. I want it so badly, but it's too scary. And when you get to that place, which we all do in our dear diary, what shall you do about it? A, you're going to listen to that part. B, you're going to ask her what she needs or he, what she needs, what would make her feel safe to move forward. That's the key. What would make you feel safe to move forward and allow something brand new to happen that you've never experienced before, that other parts of you, your soul, your heart, all want to experience because you've been working on manifesting it for a long time. So when I connected with her and started to bring in divine resources, which I do through my own guided connection, and I've taught many of you to do that. And if you haven't had a chance to discover this, I'd love to spend time with you, whether it's a session, an immersion, whatever it is to help you to learn how to creatively shift these parts of you into the bliss that you want. So I connected to some beautiful beings of love and joy and aliveness and we said to her, what if change came from the embrace of the divine, the kiss of heaven? 
What if the kiss of heaven and the embrace of the divine was pouring into you all the time as you moved into this new way of being that you long to be in? What if that was the case? She said, oh, if I really felt held by that, oh yes, we could do that for sure. So what I did with her all day long was go, the kiss of the divine is here. The embrace of the heaven, I switched it up sometimes, is with you. Love holds you sacred as you move forward into this new land of what we call unknown. And if, as she felt the sense of her hand being held and moving forward, she felt more confident that she could relax and feel safe and even get excited about what was in store, what was ahead. Even though she didn't know what that was going to look like, she could get excited about change and let go of this comfort zone she had, even though it made her sad to hold it. You see how this works? So today let's applaud change. But let's make sure we give those parts of us that are in resistance to change, afraid of change, what they need. The kiss of the divine and the embrace of heaven. And let them feel that viscerally so that they know that their movement forward is held safe and sacred and will allow them to thrive. So, dear diary, Next time this happens to you and you have that moment of wanting to put the covers far, far over your head and go far, far away, remember, it's your chance to embrace from heaven and kiss from the divine that part of you that is afraid to move forward. I bless you in every moment of change. It is so exciting. And I want to also introduce you to the June Immersion that's coming up soon. Yay! Solstice time! And we are going to work with harnessing your spiritual power. How are we going to do that? Mastering your intuitive connection. I have lots more of that on my website, soulmastery.net. And if you aren't part of this wonderful subscription to either my email address, which is soulmastery.net, or subscribing to YouTube, this is your moment. This is your opportunity to move forward in change. Take that next step and say, I want more from my divine wisdom to come forth and bless me in every way. Change, yes, here we are.